I should not have bought two of these cupcakes. Okay, we have a GFI here, and we took out a single pole switch that was controlling just one light. So now we're going to add a, we're adding this wire right here to go to an exhaust fan. So we're combining, we're making one switch into two switches, and we're going to be controlling two fans. No, I didn't see it before. Was it like that before you saved it? I didn't even hit that part yet. Okay, so this is the way it's seen, or it's right there. Even here. I thought I didn't touch it up. Oh, I bust that up. Oh, I mean, you probably had that. Didn't set the line up the fridge on there. So yeah. That's what we got here. Ground wires all together here. Put them all back in. Put our lights all together here. We got our first two started. We'll bring our third one in. Okay. Fourth wire in here, and there, so it's even. Put them so they're even here. I'll look at the end, make sure I see one, two, three, four wires. Okay, uh, put my wire nut on here. If you're in the country I was born in, we use wire nuts. For the most part, we have Wagos, which are push-in connections. But the wire nuts are much cheaper. Okay, so now we have our black live. I'm going to make sure that this wire stays. I'm going to take this one out because it's live. And I'll hook that in there last. Okay, so now we have our uh, white wire we're going to put on the GFI on the line side. Okay, and I will go over here where it says line. I'll make sure it's long enough, and it is. Okay, it's a little long, so I'll clip a little off. Make sure it's straight. Okay, that's the load side. So we gotta put it up here on the line side. So make sure this is open. And we'll put it in here where it says line. It doesn't matter which hole. Make sure it's tight. Okay, now we have our live power here, our neutral, and we have our ground. Now we have the two uh, things that are going to be switched. Bring in a neat and double switch. So you can put it in a place where there's just one uh, opening. So we have uh, our ground screw. We have the top switch, the bottom switch, going out to the two different things. And over here we have the line in, and there's a little tab that connects the two switches. So we're leaving these two switches connected together. 
and we are going to uh, put one wire in here like this. I like the twist and lock connections here. So we're going to tighten this up. We're going to make sure our copper goes all the way through. Make sure it's tight and we'll just close the one we're not using. Now if you were switching two things where the power is going to the device to the fixture first and then to the switch after the light or after the fan, then you'd break this little tab out. But since we're feeding power to the switch first, we're going to leave this little tab in. Make sure it's tight. Okay, now we're going to hook our wires up. Okay, the uh, green brown goes on that green screw here. Put it around the screw reduction at the screw turns. Make sure it's tight and we have a nice connection there. Okay, so this one is the one that goes to the lights. So I'll put that under our pressure plate and it's a little too long, so we'll clip that a little bit. And we'll strip our one that goes up to the fan. Okay, so we will put it under our pressure plate. We get our insulation up to the bottom of the screw there. Make sure the insulation is just up to the bottom of the terminal, but not under the terminal. <clears throat> and we'll put our other one. tight and our insulation is not under the pressure plates. And now I can put my black live power back into the GFI. I'm going to make sure these two switches are off. Okay, so I had that stripped a little long there. Okay, now I'll bring the camera up close so you can see how it is done. So that is how to uh, run power to a GFI in a double box. So uh, you can have two switches, one for a fan and the other for a light. And the GFI is not protecting the light or the fan because they don't need to be GFI protected, but the GFI receptacle is GFI protection, which is required here in the country I'm going in for uh, bathrooms, within six feet of the sink in the kitchen, and uh, outdoor outlets, and of course around swimming pools. We use uh, 14 on 15 amps and uh, 12 on 20 amps, and that's an American wire gauge. Black is live, white is neutral, red, black, and blue are your live colors. Peace. Thanks for watching.